Hi guys, I am back. I've tried to do this three or four different times, and every time I get interrupted. So let's see if number four is the lucky one. Um, I'm here today because I am going to start my D stash sale right now. Um, there is 17 lots, so there will be four or five videos. Um, so here is what's going on. Uh, this opening will be on every video in case you miss like video three or whatever. Um, if you are interested, I need you to contact me through my email at sabrinajean123 at gmail.com. It will also be listed in the description below. When you email me, please put in the uh, subject D stash sale so I know that that's what it's for and it'll hit right in my eyeballs. I need to know the lot number you're interested in, your YouTube channel name if you have one that is different than your regular name, your name and your address. Okay. Even if you guys are been new to my channel, I've sent you something, please just put your address in there so then I can not go searching through my address book. It would be great for this, since this is my first D stash. Um, after you email me, I will email you my PayPal account information. After that, it's 24 hours. You have 24 hours to pay me. There are no holds. It's a first come, first serve D stash auction. I am sorry, but it's US shipping only. I cannot afford, and I don't want to mess with that on my first D stash. And again, like I said, it's PayPal, friends, and family. Um, the, the prices on every single one of them are on the video and I will also link that stuff like lot one, what it is, how much it is for shipping. Um, everything has a total price including shipping. So if you have any questions with that just also please email me um, and we can figure it out. But other than that I think it's self-explanatory. But if you do have questions, please feel free to even leave the comment in the comments below. Um, I hope you guys enjoy what I am be stashing. I have so much stuff that I need to get rid of some of it. Some of it is from uh, Michael's Hobby Lobby and there are some Dollar Tree stuff in there. So with that said, happy shopping. I hope you guys have a great week. I hope to hear from you soon. Bye, guys. Keep crafting. You gonna say bye? Bye. Hey, guys. Lot seven is this. And this. So let's get this started. This is like a journal. I have no idea where I got it. Um, it's got a cover that you you go ahead and do and it's just cardboard and you can do your own it's heavy duty so that's the first thing and then I have like ribbon type little lace it's like a light pink get it all focused oh that actually came with that but I did that one like that so let's put that there also, I have all this. Hold on. Why won't it? It won't do it. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Okay. I have a lot of this. It's like a Christmas ribbon mesh. Um, I would say a little over two yards. Um, some Valentines, a 
same thing. Most of them are brand new. I just, for shipping purposes, I figured it would be easier to ship it this way than try to put it in another thing. The celebration of Halloween. I got several of these. Figured share the wealth. Look how cute them bets are. Um, another one of these. And then this is completely brand new. I have no how much is in it, but it's brand spanking new. A um, couple things of yarn. Another Halloween type thing. I have no idea what this stuff is. Some kind of trim, I know that, but I have no idea. Heart from the recollection thing. This is completely brand new. The reason why it's in a bag like this is because I didn't want everything else glittery. That's why this is done like that also. Uh, what is this? Rick Rack. I have no idea where I got it. Um, some Autumn Printing Brads. Never opened. Um, some, they're buttons, but they are button brads type thing, right? Is that what they're called? Stitching buttons. So I have the blue, cream or yellow. I have these that you can redo for like paper clips and I may put in some paper clips with this um some more what is this it says sewing but it is five yards I just love this stuff but I have no use for it right now um more buttons A lot of trim type stuff. Okay, I have more here. Okay, and this is 15 ships. Again, I will probably put some paper clips in this also, just so if you guys want to revamp your paper clips, you can. All right, a lot of eight guys. It's very simple. Here it is. Sizzlet die. Big, big Z L. And that's what it is. It's just a big the die that I thought would work on mine, and it doesn't. So twenty eight shipped um, for this. Okay, guys, this is lot nine. Uh, take two, I guess. Um, this I'm going to call... Well, let's just... This is... The adhesive strips. Brand new. It's got ice cream on it. Um, 24 of the sticking. They are stickers. I did check and make sure. Um, 10 tags. Um, magnet bookmarks, <coughs> um, a stamp collection, um, never opened, um, embossing essentials, and then there's some stuff in there that somebody had helped me with, excuse me, um, some paper clips, another one of these stamp and die sets, <clears throat> uh, some, uh, what do I want to say, agenda starter kits with washi tape and all that good junk, um, some more clear stamps, uh, and 
we have the mini album. So we're going to call this the butterfly. Where's it at? Mini album. And for all of this, I am going to say 15 shipped. This is lot nine. Okay, guys, we are on lot 10. So here we go. It's my uh, 8 by 10 or smaller paper. Um, I'm just going to show you what I have. Like, So this is like superhero paper. Got two of that one. This might have more of each of these. I'm not quite for sure. But... I think there's oops, three of that one. One's a lighter color. There's another one of that. So these are all like superhero type paper. There's Thor. So that's all the superhero paper. And then, <clears throat> you know, for boys. Then I did a girl squad. Uh, pad of paper. I did use some of it, but not much. The coffee. So that is. We'll go in this also. So quite a lot. And then I also have this, and this is like a texture paper. It's never been opened at all so it's all there I have like four or five of these I'm sharing the wealth it is the foiled scrapbook paper the six by six it was from the target spot unopened um, then I'm just throwing in these are just white um, a summer kit never opened at least I never used it. Another summer kit. Another summer kit. Um, I found two of these weird random papers everywhere, so I just put it in there. Um, this was from the Dollar Tree. The gold matted stuff. Six by eight sheets. And then, um, <clears throat> hold on here. And then, oh, come on. My hands won't do it. Okay. I have this. Um, I do not know how much is in this anymore. Um, it's like a flower paper. There's quite a bit in here. So I have that. And then I'm sharing some of my stuff that I got for Christmas. It's a double-sided paper. You can either use this paper or you can make um, little tags. So there's that. I'll make a card, like if you're making a card. And then that's that side. I think these are a little over by an 8 by 10 um, but like again I'm sharing the wealth like little tags to make cards there's that that side the city that side I know a lot of everybody doesn't want to see the snow I'm okay with it as long as it's in a picture that's all I'm going to say about that yeah I seen Rosie was eating the market uh, a couple more pieces guys I know throw it away this is black I don't know why my phone is doing that, but there's 
is the blue one. A lot of this was for making cards and tags. So right there are for tags for Christmas. The back. So these are double-sided papers. I do have some 12 by 12, but here's my problem with that. I don't know how to sh to figure out the shipping with that yet. So there are these. So this is the 8 by 10 and small, smaller. If you get all of this, $20 shipped. Every single thing here. I may add a couple more scraps or something in it. Like if I find stuff like this, I may add it. Just to give you a little more. But, alright, that is lot 10. $20 shipped.